go in and work a six day probably this week because I want it. I don't want to say no to her. What really? Do do? So there's a consequence to that business model for you, correct? There is. I'm going to lose half a day off. So or three hours, whatever. Really? And that's just that's just this week. How many more times are you going to lose that this year? So there's this word, in fact, it's actually one of the bricks called boundaries. And would you say that your boundaries are strong or weak right now? Yeah, weak. Yeah. And this isn't a make wrong. It's a, it's a make like aware. So a boundary is something, a defined line that you've created in your life and in your business. It's structure. And these are my boundaries. And they will either respect them and or not. So, well, I'm not that that's your business one on one, that's not necessarily mine. So I think flexibility is okay, but I don't think you're being I think you're being unreasonably flexible. They're not showing any flexibility if they're demanding you to come in on a day off. No, they're not. So if you want an ideal client, is this Jane Doe an ideal client? Take the money out of the equation. Is she an ideal client? Can she be replaced by an ideal client who honors your boundaries and still is a hundred fifty dollar ticket? Yeah. Do you think there's more of them out there in the world still? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we get locked into the fear of I'm going to lose a hundred fifty dollar client, and Heather, I get it. I so get it. However, when you run fear, when you run and operate by fear, you lock yourself into this little mold, and then we become this yes machine, and you're training them how to treat you. She knows she doesn't have to book the appointment because you're always going to come in on your day off. You're going to squeeze her in. You're going to stay late. You're going to come early. That does not affect her. She does not lose sleep over you whatsoever, I promise. 